观众朋友大家好，我系向新人，我哋系会菜沿途北坡，一只小镇。大家从画面都做啲看到，你阿都爱黑白，当都爱光景分化白，咩拼音，实体是不是学嘢？太难难嘛，但真加速。下个电视台，我专访他来南马开发，从去年时开始，年天四年中文时间而进行，不过多好多多，增加两多张站票。三年因是有大合的加班，总算确定，对，半年中，哎对，底下他来南马建立市场流氓政府，六十年的蔬菜地，他能上台进行专访。没想到采访团队啊，出发的前三天，警方又接到通知，谈到专家来到塔兰萨拉，搞表的这小军来做公开的分发。虽然讲两体的距离只两百九十几公里，不过因为都在都喜马拉雅山脚下，害怕差不多两千公尺，所以山路一弯弯一弯弯，路就唔好行。系讲后天交通状况好的时节。而时差差唔多系六到八点钟，系讲天气唔好，我是路行又差空嘅时间，八到十点钟也非常嘅正常。不过，人系就蛮样，欢迎老观众朋友，我家里呢只机会，做啲看到，睇嚟难嘛，都分为公开分发嘅画面，当然就非常难得咧，最多睇嚟难嘛，前脚，也是睇人实在，是不太拉脚，意外会所，健康状况。Good morning, you Holonist. Um, we are very happy and very grateful to have this wonderful opportunity uh, to connect your Holonist and the 4.5 million of Hakka people in Taiwan. The total population of Taiwan is 23 million, and Hakka is about one fifth of the population. So I wish through this interview there will be more and more Hakka people in Taiwan and even by uh, internet to make more and more Hakka people around the world they can connect and uh, make the distance closer with your holiness. Allow me to introduce you myself. My name is Paul. I'm from a Hakka village of northern part of Taiwan, Xinchu. My first question would be, yes. you live an uneasy life. You were recognized as the 14th Dalai Lama, and also you become the uh, political leader at age 16. Then your holiness established the exile government at age 24. We can look back this history. It's been very difficult. But when I look into all the footage and the videos about your holiness, I can always find a smile on your face. Are you, a Holiness, the most optimistic Dalai Lama ever? How could you make smile on your face all the time? Firstly, I'm a human being. Uh, I believe, even according to scientists, basic human nature is more compassion, compassionate. Yes. Reason. We are social animal. Any social animal and emotional level, you see, there must be something to bring together. That's a human love, human compassion. So individual human beings survival depends on the community. So we must love 
community uh, because that is basis of our own survival and happiness. That's my fundamental belief. Wherever I go, I always tell him that. And uh, seven billion human beings, basically same emotionally or mentally, physically, we are same. We all have right to achieve happy life. So, so then, you see, consider entire humanity. Of course, as a Buddhist practitioner, the animals, different sort of species of mammals, you see, we usually call mother sending being. But they have no ability smiling. Uh, we human being, uh, by nature, we have the ability to smile. Then I know, you see, according to my own experience, as soon as I born, then human language not, not yet developed. Mm -hmm. I do not know. But emotionally, by nature, I totally rely on my mother. My mother also, you see, uh, take fullest care. That's the way our life start. So, so then, uh, among the children, they don't care what's other nationality or religious belief, but so long each other play together, smiling. If you show sort of the angry face, then even ch children don't like. Dogs also, you see, when we show them a uh, smile and genuine love, loving kindness, they also appreciate. So therefore, the, according to my belief, I feel smile is very good. <laughs> and, and also, you see, one Buddhist master, I think some, some people say 8th century, from uh, Nalanda, the Shantadeva, in his writing, you see, he mentioned uh, as a practitioner of Buddhichitta, whenever you met someone, you should receive with smile. It mentioned that. I practice that as much as. I would and do I that cannot too. smile to mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, mosquito come. Bite you? Yes, wait, wait. Uh, say, there's, there's no danger, quite sure, malaria. Then I give some blood, mosquito. So they enjoy uh, my blood, and their whole body become red. Yes. Then they fly, no indication of appreciation. 